So I've always wondered. I've never properly examined it, but I've played around. And the question of today is, can I shadow box on skates? Can I throw a strong punch without spinning out? Is it possible to have a strong stable base as well as effective lateral mobility when your base is on wheels? Can I dart forward for an enhanced reach and can I spring back to escape? What of combinations? Will the fluidity of sequences be lost to wheel shift? And will I fall on my ass when I attempt head movement? These questions are answered on the roof. I get the wobblies out of the way very early here, and then I'm surprised by the forward-backward mobility. I'm not surprised that punches thrown with parallel feet feel weak and ineffective. The 100mm wheels were a good choice. They allow for a wide stance with no boot drag. Though my wheels are quite hard, they dig in with little slippage for reactive lunges and lateral movement. It really does feel like the things I can do in shoes, I can also do in skates. Even in boxing. Yes, there were a few unsteady moments, but for the most part, my technical weaknesses, my strengths, and movement patterns are all the same on skates as they are in shoes. No massive degradation. Bladed shadow boxing is very tiring, though. I get clumsy beyond the first minute of blade boxing, but that's fine. There's no hurry, I'm already the number one rollerblading shadow boxer on YouTube, so... Yeah. Yes, I do try a few Superman punches today. I had no choice. Have you seen the recent NHL Superman punch clip by Kevin Bieska of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks? I love what call him that. It's thunder on steel. It really is. This session was definitely a success in that it surpassed my expectations. Less ungainly than I predicted. The next test will have to be the heavy bag, which will tell me much about effectiveness of punches. The two main questions with the heavy bag will be, can I land with effective force and can I absorb and control the bag without loss of balance? We'll see. Hit the subscriber button to be the first to see new videos here at Pinto Pony, and also because it really does help with the success and development of this channel. Alright, I guess that's it. This is Punchy McStoppard coming to you from Pinto Pony Productions, reminding you to live high and stay low. Stay low.